I want to talk a little bit about singing and drumming and why I kind of enjoy singing and drumming and kind of the background and the philosophy behind it. When I was young and playing in bands, copy bands in high school, just somewhere along the line somebody asked me if I sang. And I wanted to and I thought, well, uh, you know, I'd like to try and the guy just happened to say, well, you know, you should because if you're in a band and you sing, you're more of an asset to the band than a drummer who doesn't sing. And so you might have a better chance of getting the gig over drummers who don't sing. And the cool thing about singing is it's kind of like having a, another arm because the voice and the melody you sing has another, it's a kind of a, a syncopated rhythm over the things you do with your other four limbs. So it kind of increases your independence one more level. And that's why I kind of got into doing that. Another thing that I did is when I, people ask me about the solo, singing yesterday while I play a drum solo. This kind of came about because most of the time when you play drum solos, people, the only people that really want to listen to them are other drummers. And so I was thinking to myself, what would be kind of a unique approach to a drum solo that might interest other people who aren't drummers? And I thought, ah, I'll sing. So I came up with this wild, wacky thing, and I came up with yesterday, and uh, it seems to keep people in their seats when, when it's time to do the drum solo. Other than going outside and getting a Coke or going to the bathroom, they stay seated, and they enjoy it, and it puts a smile on their face. And that's kind of why I even got into the whole idea in the first place. And that's why it happened.